Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we are going to do uh, module two, lesson one. Okay, and we are going to, this is on page S3 of your book, and we are going to divide fractions by a whole number, but we're going to do it with a tape diagram, and then I'm going to do it standard algorithm. Standard algorithm means I'm going to write it and make it look like normal math. Okay, so let me just try to focus this a little bit more. I can get that a little bit better for you guys. There we go. So when we go to draw this tape diagram, see this denominator right here, the four? We have to draw this in fours, okay? So, wow, this is definitely blurry. Let me see if I can fix this. There we go. So I'm going to split this in four parts. I try to keep my parts as equal as possible, okay? Now, one-fourth. So I got them in fours. I'm going to color in one-fourth of it. So one-fourth is colored in. Now I have to split those fourths into five parts. So I'm going to try my best with a different color marker. Well, maybe a different color marker. Let's try maybe the green will be good or the blue. Let's try, let's try blue. Blue might be nice. All right. See how this works. And I'm going to split it into five parts. So I got one two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we have one part. Not sure why this keeps getting blurry on us. Let's try to hold that there, see if that helps. So now we have, in that one section, we have one twentieth. Let's try to see if that helps. guys ready? There we go. That ought to do it. So that would give us one part out of 20. See, one, two, three, four, five. There's five more for 10, 15, 20. So one twentieth is how we have a section. So now if we do it standard algorithm, we have one fourth divided by five, which we put over a one. We do a thing called drop change, flip. So we drop the first flat, the first fraction. We change the division sign to a time sign and we flip that other fraction over. So we drop, we change, we flip. And now we go straight across like we have been, 1 20th. So let's try another one. 3 fifths. So I draw this next shape. If you notice, I like rectangles. It's easier. And I got to do fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. You try to keep each portion as close as possible. I got to color in three fifths of it. So there's one, two, three. Okay. Now I have to split my three fifths into five sections. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now one section following this blue line is worth three parts. See that? Three. One, two, three. So my answer is three. And then there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So three twenty-fifths is my answer there. Now let's look at it as a drop change flip situation. We have three fifths divided by five over one. We drop it. We change it. We flip it. We go straight across. We get three twenty-fifths. This is standard algorithm. Okay? Everything I write here, you need to write. Everything I draw, you need to draw. Okay. So I'm erasing this part, but you don't erase it. I'm erasing it because I need more space for this last one. Okay. So here we go. One-fifth. I have to make a shape with five parts. One, two, three, four, five. I color in one part. I split this into 
four. One, two, three, four. How many sections are there in one line that's colored in? One part. So I have one at a four, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So one twentieth is the answer to this one. Okay. Now let's look at it in standard algorithm. One fifth divided by four. All whole numbers go over one. Drop, change, flip. We get one twentieth. Oops. There. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby and I heart math.